This video is broken down into three sections, which pie chart to use and why, how to make it, and advanced formatting tips. Let's face it, pie charts look really cool, especially if you're using bar charts all the time. The problem is our brains aren't wired to see angles the same way we are length. For instance, which one of these is the largest? See, it's kind of hard to tell. Now look at the bar chart. It's very easy to answer that question. And you know, the angle isn't the only problem when we look at a pie chart. We've all seen a pie chart that looks something like this. And although it's flashy, it's impossible to read. So today we're gonna make two types of charts. We're gonna make a pie chart and a donut chart. The same thing, just look a little different. First, open up Power BI Desktop on your computer. If you don't have Power BI installed yet, no worries. Check out our first video here on how to download and install Power BI for free. First, go to the visualization pane and click the pie chart. Then on the right side, we're gonna to wanna to click number of cars and pickup or other. And just like that, you can easily see pickup trucks is 31% of the total. But I don't wanna really hover over pickup trucks to see that it's 31%. So let's go to the visualization pane and make some edits. The first one here is to add a legend. So let's put a legend on and put it over the center of the chart. Next, we can make it a little larger. These colors are really similar. So let's go ahead and make pickup trucks a gray and we can make other a blue. Next, move down to details. Let's go ahead and put our labels inside. And right now, contents is set to category. If you click this arrow here, you can go through and choose data value, percent of total, category, and data value, etc. I always like to choose category and percent of total. Now you can see they're in the pie chart. Lastly, let's just bold them and make them a little larger. And there you have a completed visual. Next, we're gonna make a donut chart. The donut chart is just a flashier example of a pie chart. We've never copy and pasted a visual in this tutorial so far, so let's practice that. So click the visual, right click, press copy, copy visual, then click outside the visual and press control V. And as you can see, I put it right on top. Let's slide it to the right. And then we're gonna click the donut chart. It's the same thing, just looks like a donut. If you're in the food category, this might be a fun thing for you to do. It's totally up to you. The next video in this playlist is my far favorite video. It's how to make all the different types of maps in Power BI. The maps are incredibly useful tools. If you're looking at where your customers reside, if you're looking at where you're sending truck shipments, if you're looking at who's listening to your music around the world, this is the tutorial for you. As always, a friendly reminder, I do go live fairly often to answer your Power BI questions, so click that bell there. The second I go live, you'll get a notification that I'm online. Let's work together, answer some questions, and grow your skills together. I'll see you in the next video.